JSC Concern Kalashnikov has fulfilled its contractual obligations for the production and delivery of AK-12 assault rifles, model 2023, to its primary client. The deliveries, part of a 2024 procurement agreement, were completed on time and in full compliance with the contract terms. The AK-12, designed to meet the contemporary demands of the Russian armed forces, has undergone significant updates. These improvements were based on feedback from military personnel deployed in conflict zones, particularly in the ongoing special military operation. The 5.45mm assault rifle has been optimized for real combat conditions, enhancing its compatibility with various optoelectronic devices for use in diverse environments, including nighttime operations and adverse weather. The latest version of the AK-12 emphasizes ergonomics and ease of use in combat situations, while maintaining the Kalashnikov legacy of reliability and durability. With these updates, the 2023 model positions itself as one of the most advanced automatic rifles currently in service with the Russian Armed Forces. Alan Lushnikov, president of JSC Concern Kalashnikov, expressed the company's commitment to national security, noting the strategic importance of fulfilling state obligations on time. A responsible approach to the work of a team of thousands and impeccable production quality are our contribution to national security, said Lushnikov. The AK-12, entering service in 2018, represents a significant evolution in the Kalashnikov rifle lineage. Combining modularity, enhanced performance, and improved ergonomics, the AK-12 meets the demands of modern armed forces. Primarily chambered for 5.45 by 39mm M74 ammunition, it also offers variants in 7.62 by 39 mm AK-15 and 5.56 by 45 mm NATO AK-19 calibers, ensuring adaptability for various operational needs. Weighing just 2.9 kg when empty and 3.2 kg when loaded, the AK-12 is light and highly maneuverable, even in the most demanding combat situations. Its compact 945 mm length, paired with a 415 mm barrel, provides an optimal balance of mobility and precision. Technically, the AK-12 features several firing modes, including automatic, single-shot, and a two-shot burst mode, designed to enhance control in close combat. Its firing rate reaches 700 rounds per minute in automatic mode and 1,000 rounds per minute in three-shot bursts. The rifle's effective range is 800 meters, with a maximum range of 2,500 meters, making it suitable for both medium and long-range engagements. The initial velocity of its projectiles is 900 to 915 meters per second, ensuring accuracy and stable trajectories. One of the AK-12's key strengths is its compatibility with a variety of magazines, including standard 30 to 60 round magazines, 95 round drum magazines, and magazines from older weapons like the AK-74 or RPKS-74. This ensures logistical flexibility, allowing for seamless integration into existing arsenals. For aiming, the AK-12 is equipped with a mechanical sight and offers the option to mount modern optical devices, enhancing precision for both day and night operations. Developed under the supervision of Sergei Erzhumts, the AK-12 is tailored to meet the challenges of modern warfare, as demonstrated in the ongoing Russo-Ukrainian war. Its reliability, modern features and adaptability have made it a weapon of choice for multiple armed forces, including those of Russia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, and even countries like Qatar and Syria. The AK-12's popularity has extended beyond the military. In 2024, the Russian Ministry of Internal Affairs and the National Guard officially adopted the rifle, solidifying its status as the most widely used combat rifle in Russia. This adoption further underscores the weapon's versatility and effectiveness across different operational contexts, making it a staple in both military and law enforcement units. With its combination of cutting-edge technology, modularity, and the storied reliability of Kalashnikov firearms, the AK-12 continues to play a crucial role in the Russian Federation's defense strategy, reaffirming its place as a leader in small arms innovation.